This is Winning Cures Everything. Here's your host, Gary Seegers. All right, let's jump in. This is Winning Cures Everything. I am your host, Gary Seegers. You can follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. You can follow the show at Winning Cures. You can also follow the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash Winning Cures Everything. Or if you want to find everything, including where to subscribe on the podcast, uh, on YouTube, etc., go to winningcureseverything.com. we got everything there for you. Before we jump into the show, let's do the rundown. Really short show today. Uh, we're going to talk about the NCAA tournament. We're going to talk about the last teams in the field, the bubble field. Uh, everybody talks about who's going to get number one seeds and whatnot. Who cares? We already know they're in the tournament, right? Who cares? We want to know who's actually getting in. So I'm going to give you the last 12 teams that are in according to Bracket Matrix, along with the first four teams that are out. Uh, We're going to talk about Steve Spurrier for a little bit, and then I've got five college basketball picks for you for this evening. Let's go ahead and jump in. It's Monday, February the 18th. The show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six incredible, wonderful sports books. You can go check them all out. More information on them at Tunica travel.com let's go ahead and jump in first topic up the last 12 teams in the ncaa tournament field per bracket matrix that is as of today monday the 18th let's go ahead and jump into that uh let's do the first four teams that are out as of right now indiana has played themselves out they're on the bubble they're the first team out the next team out davidson Uh, not a strong enough conference schedule for them to really Consider a, a lot of at-large consideration. But, uh, you know, they get on a streak here, they could play themselves back in. Florida, they have played themselves into contention. Uh, they absolutely whipped Alabama on Saturday in Tuscaloosa. And then Utah State. Utah State has got a hugely inflated record right now. I think it's 18-5. and five. Uh, But they haven't played a lot of strong teams. Their, their number of quad one and quad two wins... Uh, or just games, period, is very limited. Um, So Indiana, Davidson, Florida, and Utah State all sitting on the outside looking in. Here are the last 12 teams in the NCAA tournament. We're going to start with the teams that are a little more firm in and work our way back. Number nine, or the number nine seed, Ohio State, they are in. Syracuse is in as a nine seed. NC State is in as a ten seed. Oklahoma, the number four team here, they are number, uh, they are a 10 seed. Minnesota is also a 10 seed. Now let's jump into the 11 seeds. Seton Hall, Alabama, and Central Florida. And then here are the last four at-large teams per bracket matrix. Clemson, Arizona State, Temple, and Butler. And Butler is your last team in right now. Temple has worked themselves in. Last week at this time, they were one of the first four out. So, yeah, Arizona State hanging on for dear life there. Uh, The Pac-12 has been abysmal lately. They need to keep winning. They need to keep beating good teams. They need need another win over probably Washington, I would imagine, because nobody else in that conference is going to get in. UCLA is awful. USC is awful. Arizona has lost seven straight. Uh, Pac-12, not good this year. Not good this year. Butler, they got more shots to uh, to get bigger wins, but we'll see how all that goes. Steve Spurrier, the Orlando Apollos get a win in San Antonio. It moves them to 2-0 and on the season. They look like one of the two, three best teams in the AAF. We're going to talk about something different, though. And obviously this won't be long because today is a short show. Spurrier, after the win in San Antonio, in San Antonio, by the way, crowd was crazy. And and understanding that it's not a huge thing compared to college football or the NFL, but they drew 29,000 people for that game on Sunday. That's a pretty big deal. Steve Spurrier trolling Tennessee like he has done for years. and I mean, I'm talking three decades now. After the win, he said uh, he was asked, about how do you play, how does your team play so well in such a raucous attitude, or in such a raucous crowd. He said, I think it was just as loud as Rocky Top, to tell you the truth. 
I knew, or I know the swamp is maybe a little bit louder than here, but this was just as loud as Rocky Top. It don't get no better than that. You got to love Steve, Spur- or Steve Spurrier. I really wish that uh, that guys like Les Miles were also coaching in this league. Mike Riley, good coach. He he coaches for San Antonio. Not as much fun after the game. Spurrier is perfect to draw attention to this league. Absolutely perfect. All right, let's jump into the college basketball picks. It's Monday, February 18th. Look, on Sunday, went 2-4. and four. Not good. Saturday, went 5-3. and three. Well, 5-3-1. and one. Uh, Penn State, I mean, you're so close. It, we would have had a 6-3 and three day. Uh, and then Friday, we went 2-3. and three. So, not a good weekend. It has not been a good week last week. We are starting fresh. We are coming out hot tonight. This is what we're going to do. We got five games tonight. Four sides, one total. Let's do this. I've got Illinois plus 10 at Wisconsin. Illinois is riding a a heat wave right now. Uh, Wisconsin has lost their last two. I don't expect Wisconsin to lose this game, but I think Illinois is playing really, really well. Their coach is a fantastic coach. Uh, he was at Oklahoma State last year. I mean, it, he's this guy is great. Take Illinois plus the 10 on the road. Uh, next up, West Virginia plus 7 at home against Kansas State. Yes, I get it. West Virginia, they have been blown out three games straight. This looks like the perfect spot for Kansas State to go and get a huge road win. Kansas State's got some injury problems. Dean Wade, probably their best player, is – Probable, doubtful for tonight. Not a good thing when you go into Morgantown. Uh, West Virginia plays really well at home. They've already beaten Oklahoma. They beat Kansas. Both of those in Morgantown. I'm going to take West Virginia plus seven. It's a big Monday, baby. You got to go plus the seven. TCU minus three at Oklahoma State. The line is short. TCU looking to bounce back. I like TCU here. Uh, I'm going over the 141 on Idaho versus Eastern Washington. Both of these teams have been able to put up a lot of points here lately. I expect that trend to continue. And then finally, I bought points on Virginia. The line opened at five. It ballooned up to six and a half. It got bet back down to six. Virginia Tech still does not have Justin Robinson. I think that's a pretty big deal, especially in a game like this. The last two seasons... Virginia has blown out Virginia Tech in the first game, and then Virginia Tech has either won or gotten it really close in the second game. Virginia blew them out the first go-round this season. Can Virginia Tech keep the game close or even win the game tonight? I don't think so, not without Justin Robinson. Virginia, 7-1 and one against the spread on the road this year. They are – Virginia's – one of the two, three, four best teams in the country this year. They play defense like lights out. I'm not touching the over-under. It's sitting at 122 right now. We are going Virginia minus four and a half. I bought a point and a half back. As always, you can go get the picks over at winningcureseverything.com. Go up to the navigation bar, click on gambling picks there, or just type in winningcureseverything.com slash gambling dash picks. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, click down in the description. We got it right there for you every day. We do this all day, every day. We're looking for 10 to 15 minutes of your time. Share the show out. Tell everybody about it. Follow us on Twitter, at Winning Cures. You can follow me, at GaryWCE. You can follow the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash Winning Cures Everything. Download the podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, whatever your favorite podcast app is. Hit subscribe. Leave a review. Tell everybody about us. We want to know what you think. We want you to share out the show. Tell everybody to come in, enjoy themselves. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.